Yo, what's good? Bro, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but y'all been asking for it like crazy. So here it is. Effect ideas for edits part seven. I've done six parts and they all did good. If you want me to continue this series, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know if you guys really want more, you know, because I could stop. This could be the last one. You know, it's, it's all up to y'all. I ain't playing. Oh, oh man. No. All right, so the first effect is called Mr. Mercury, and I did it on this one edit that I made back in, I think, 2022. I don't know if y'all see, but in the background, there's like these little water droplets and stuff. You see right here. And also right here, once the text kind of goes up, there's like this liquid water simulation almost like thingy. I was done in After Effects, and it's super simple. Like, it's, it's way more simple than you think. All right, so I'm going to use this image as an example, I guess. You just need any, like, picture, video, anything, really. And all you have to do is just really duplicate your, your layer. And then go to effects and presets and type in Mr. Mercury and drag it to the top clip. And that's basically, that's basically it. If you play it, you'll see that you start getting these, like, water droplets type of thing. Over here, you got the radius, so you can kind of adjust how you want uh, I guess the the water simulation thingy to happen. You can just start messing around with these settings, see what you like. Earth rate kind of adds more, you know. So obviously we have this right, and the reason we duplicate the layer so we can have um, so we can have the texture so it looks like actual water. It looks like a reflection, you know what I mean? Because if it was just a solid and we add Mr. Mercury to this, it would just be black, you know what I mean? Which actually that that is also kind of a cool look, but. Like if you want it to look like water and you make it blue like this, it looks too cartoony. Like you like if you're going for that cartoony look, then this, this will be perfect. But if you're trying to go for, I guess, more a little bit more realism, then this will work a little bit more. If you want that, I guess, bluish tint, we could add um the effect tint and then just put it like towards blue or something. And then you get this like water like thing, maybe a little bit lighter. Something like this. And then to add more to the effect, we can add, um, I don't know, a deep glow. Just so it's kind of glowing. Maybe we can make this a little bit more bluish. You know what I mean? Or you can, you can make it look like, like lean. <laughs> Yo, this is fire, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, this is tough. Hold on. They got drugs in this. It's like 85% <laughs> lean. This is kind of tough. This, this is just giving me ideas. I haven't really been editing this style. Too much but um i'm doing the followers edit soon once i hit 40k on instagram so oh yeah by the way if y'all want to be on the on the followers edit go uh go follow my instagram all right so for the next effect is a really simple effect that i use all the time and i think is super easy to use typewriter it does what it says so it kind of just types out text like a typewriter because you know sometimes you don't want to do text animations with too many too much of a crazy look you just want to go for a subtle like typing animation or something right so and you know you can type whatever you want on here i guess but i'm doing like this and then i might make it like a little grayish i don't like this uh it's a little bit still too big but whatever it's just an example so anyways you obviously go to effects and presets type in typewriter and all you have to do is just drag this effect to your text layer that's it if you press u on your clip you get two keyframes so if we play this you get this typing animation obviously if you want it faster you just drag the second keyframe closer and it types it out fast if we go slow as you can see it goes letter by letter well if you go like this it goes letter by letter which is really cool okay so for this next effect i call this the magazine letter cutouts effect technically it's not an effect that you would just go and face some presets and top of the effect and just edit it's more of like a title sequence type of thing let me just show you bro this thing it looks pretty cool uh on one of my recent edits i did the same thing as you can see so it looks pretty fire it's pretty simple it's just it may be a little bit time consuming maybe first thing would be to go to google and type in magazine letter cutout you go to images and basically you get this right and what you have to do is import this to your after effects and then individually cut out all the letters that you want, basically. And then just stack them on top of each other. That's technically all you have to do. What? Uh, I was about to say, go to my website, but it looks like it's, it is down for right. I do have this other website, basically my pay hips. On here, 
if we scroll down i have these magazine letter cutouts um they're on sale right now for 10 bucks or 300 plus letter cut out oh, obviously if you're broke just you know you have no option to basically pop up your file if you bought my magazine letter cutouts you have a folder like that. from a to z and you have some numbers and symbols if i go to a i have a bunch of a's if i go to b i have not that many b let's say you want to add a text which in this case i'm gonna i guess put my name one so i'm gonna go to the w and you would think okay i don't have that many w's but you would think that you have to import one and then import the other one but since they're labeled w1 w2 w3 w after phrase kind of makes it into a sequence so if we go right here we have png sequence which if it's the same for you and you just enabled it it'll make it into a video if i press just on the first one and put import you'll get a video kind of like so if i import this here and i play it obviously if i had more w's there would be more but i guess to bypass that all you have to do is kind of just duplicate this like as long as you want it does kind of cycle through like a little bit too fast i'm gonna grab this pre-compose by the way shout outs to prime tools uh this is my plugin which is also my story pretty fire i use it all the time anyways enough enough of the promo yo why am i promoting everything my bad but i'm gonna do Control alt t uh that's time remapping by the way and i'm just gonna make this longer so it kind of goes slower you know what i mean w a n and that's it it's really that simple also by the way all these effects that i mentioned in this video were shared first inside of Juan's creator lab this is the new thing i've been working on for the last two months to help you grow as an editor while also getting money from it and if you're already making money you know make more money there's a bunch of stuff that you'll get if you join but if you want to learn more about that click the link in the description to get started so i made this video a couple months ago i think a year by now this is when i was first learning blender but anyways i make this effect right there where it does like this little tracking effect so i guess i'm going to show you how to make that first thing would be to kind of make it black and white and technically this is just this is optional you don't have to make it black and white but i'm going to make it black and white it looks it makes it look a little bit cool i'm out of curves to kind of make it a little bit brighter because it's a little bit too dark now basically we have to make a shape layer which is right here if you don't have prime tools you have to go to layer new and we have uh shape layer and we get this rectangle tool and you kind of put it around your subject something like this i know it's a little bit too thick but we go to stroke um oh actually you might have it a little bit different yours might be like this so i guess to make it into a line all you have to do is click on the fill not on the color but where it says fill and remove the fill and we're gonna go to stroke click on the actual square and then make it uh so i guess select the color and then just decrease this number right here to like a thickness of your liking and now we're gonna make another shape layer and for this one we're gonna make uh we're gonna click somewhere press shift on your keyboard and then hold it down and we want the anchor point center so i'm gonna use prime tools to center it easily like and then i'm gonna control d to duplicate i'm gonna press rotation and then just set this to 90 so technically now we have a like a plus type of thing I'm going to get both of these layers and just pre-compose them. And I'm going to size it down and kind of put it in the middle of this, this thingy. And that's basically it. So now we just pre-compose everything. And now we can move it around. So we kind of want to track the subject, which is, I guess, it's already like kind of showing, right? Like it's, it's already in the square, but we want to make it a little bit more dramatic. So basically we can press P for position and then kind of just track it even more. Like be a little bit like... I guess how do I say it? Like it doesn't have to be perfect, you know what I mean? Because the point is that it's tracking it. So something like this, right? And then we're gonna pre-compose. And then at the beginning, I like to have no empty space, so it kind of like pops up like this. And then I'm gonna go two keyframes up, and then I'm gonna cut and kind of make like a space in there, so it kind of goes away for a second. And on this first one, actually, I'm going to put it kind of like it's it's off of it. Like, it's almost like it's tracking it. And then it tracks it there. And then I'm going to cut it again right here. I'm going to just cut one. And then over here, I'm going to cut two. And then on this one, I'm going to rotate it a little bit. It goes like this. And then I'm going to go forward. And then just cut it at random spots. And rotate it a little bit as well. 
so there's there's a little bit of movement you know what i mean it's not just just sitting there so boom you see something like this and you know you can be creative with this like the whole point of these effect ideas videos is to give you ideas give you effect ideas and then from there you kind of like you know what i'm saying you do your own thing this is a cool effect then after that i would just pre-compose everything with um <clears throat> prime tools and then i would add a deep glow effect and there you go you get this cool effect okay so the next effect is called horizontal turbulence i guess that's that's just what i call it it's a really subtle effect and all you have to do is go to effects and presets and type in turbulent displace we're gonna add this i'm gonna put the size to 17 mount to like let's put it up to 400 and for the displacement we're gonna change it to a horizontal displacement so you get something like this what you would do is make a keyframe for a mount so it will be at 400 you go a little bit back and then you make this zero and then you go a little bit forward and you make this zero as well and you can easy ease these if you want but it goes a little bit like this you know and it's just like a it's just a quick effect that adds um a lot of impact right here like it's kind of like i think it's just for yeah for two frames and it looks pretty cool look right here this edit i used it to look right here see i have it a little bit here it adds like a little subtle like you you couldn't even tell you know but like it has like that's impact i feel like again somewhere right here where is it right there you see it goes boom. It looks like a glitch almost you know so the last effect is cc scatterize i have my logo for this example go to effects and presets and type in cc scatterize and then just add it to your clip you click on this little timer you press u to look at our keyframe i guess go a little bit forward and it just increase that as you can see it's almost like a like that Thanos like particle disappearing thingy there's also this right twist and left twist that if let me see if i go right here and i move this it twists it like in 3d space and it looks so fire so basically if we keyframe both of those so the scatter and the right twist i guess or left i like this and i don't know what you could do with this you could do whatever you want <laughs> but i don't know it's just, it's just a cool effect Here's the winners for my last video giveaway. Make sure to reply to my comment to claim your prize. If you want to win this $25 Amazon gift card, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment something you liked about this video. And add a fire emoji at the end so I know you came from this section. I'll choose a winner on my next video. Good luck. And also, as I said before, if you want to start making money or make more money as a video editor, check the free training in the description below. But yeah, that's 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 all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Deuces.